The Tasmanian devil is unique to Tasmania and is the island's unofficial mascot. It is a rural cleaner playing a vital role in the ecosystem by devouring carcasses that might otherwise lead to disease. Full-grown Tasmanian devils are famous fighters. Their ferocity is legendary, particularly when it comes to food. Once these scavengers find a carcass in the forest, it's a feeding frenzy. Pound for pound, Tasmanian devils have the most powerful bite in the world, designed for ripping open carcasses and crushing bones. Wildlife photographer Christo Baz sets out on a journey which will make history. He's hoping to photograph the elusive nocturnal creature the Tasmanians call the devil. But nothing in the world could prepare him for what walks in front of his lens. What he photographs looks like something out of a horror film. Suddenly, another grossly distorted Tasmanian devil emerges from the dark. And then another. What is happening in the forest of Tasmania? What is creating these disfigurements? It's given the name Devil Facial Tumor Disease, or DFTD. It's a new strain of cancer. The fact that there was no record of this sort of disease um, showed us we had a new problem. Uh, devils seem to have a new problem. Tasmanian devils have been found with a new kind of cancer. Three different locations, same disease. But where has this cancer suddenly come from? On the Australian mainland, the devil is believed to have been wiped out by dingoes over 400 years ago. The island is the last devil outpost. But for over a century, devils were hunted and poisoned by farmers. By the 1930s, their numbers had fallen to a dangerously low level, and killing devils was outlawed in 1941. Now, when they started to build up again, because they started with a very low number of devils, we obviously got quite a lot of inbreeding. Inbreeding means devils are genetically alike, so their immune systems recognise the infectious cancer cells as their own cells and don't fight them. If the devils were more genetically dissimilar, the cancer cells would appear to be alien and their immune systems would respond. Most of the devils here are very closely related, so the wrong disease can go right through the population, and that's what we're seeing. The mystery of the mutant devils is solved. The ultimate challenge is next, how to save the devil. <laughs> 